Uh, it is still the middle of my work day, but I had a few things that I wanted to show you. Some more hooks from Pearls that I want to unbox. I'm really excited, so I want to unbox them now, and I figure I'll just record it real quick. Um, and I have a little crafting update for you guys that I will get into now, and then we'll see if I do anything else this weekend. <laughs> so let's get into it. Um, okay, let's start with a whip update. So I did finish the rework of this blanket cardigan. This pattern is by Alt Knots. I've done it once before, um, and I wound up, I think my tension was just super loose. And so these stripe sections were like double the length they are now. So, and I used the same size hook. So I think my tension was just really loose. So it was like super long. Um, and even though that was kind of cool, it gave it like a roby feel. It just didn't feel like something that I would want to wear all the time. So I fully pulled it apart, um, rewound all the yarn and then redid this over the past like week or two. Um, and I think I like it more. I do think there's still some issues with it um, that are all my like user error um, as I'm still learning, relearning how to crochet and like getting used to um, building garments. So I made the back panel, I think a little too wide. Um, and so it's super boxy. Ooh, can't really see that well, but it's really, really boxy, um, which gives it a super oversized feel which is kind of nice, but kind of not flattering. And I wanted it somewhere in between. Oh, there's a big truck outside. Anyway, I wanted it somewhere in between or it was still boxy and comfortable, but a little more flattering. Um, but I actually really like the way that my sleeves came out this time. They are a little more fitted than last time, which fitted is a, a loose term. Um, they have more shape, I should say. Um, and I did a fun little cuff. So I did kind of a long, um, a long cuff that is just um, double crochet. So it looks a little bit like fishnetty. so I can roll it down. I can give myself a little thumb hole action if I want to, um, but I can also roll it up if I need to um, and get it out of the way of my hands so like it doesn't get wet if I'm washing my hands or something like that. So um, I like that a lot. I'm actually very happy with it. So anyway, it's done. I've been wearing it all week. Um, and I'm really happy with it. I have a second one that I made that is black and purple that I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna fully pull apart and then we're gonna redo it and I'm gonna try uh, shortening the back panel and see if I like the way it fits better. But anyway, it's done, I'm happy. Um, and so I have started on a new project. Um, I bought, which you will have seen in one of my other vlogs, the um, Lion Brand Cover Story giant thingamajiggies. Um, and I started on a blanket. Um, I'm gonna be giving this away as a gift for someone. Um, and so I got started on this this week. And I will show you, I finished one whole, do you call this a skein cake, a giant ass cake? Um, I finished one of these already into this blanket and this is now the second one, which um, I think two will be perfect for the way that I'm making this. But I will show you how she's working up. pretty it's huge um I am not using a pattern I am just like winging this um and I actually originally measured what I thought would be the width um and then as I worked it up I think my width is actually going to be my length <laughs> so um I'm kind of working it um in a weird way but it's coming out really well um I am doing I don't know what I'm doing um I was gonna do a half double crochet, but then I kind of did it. I'm kind of doing a double crochet in like a weird way. Um, but regardless, it's coming out really nice and I'm very happy with it. Um, and I think the colors as they work up are really cool. So I'm very happy with this. It's gonna be a super cozy blanket, which is the intent. Um, the person I'm giving it to, I think needs some coziness right now. So um, that is my intent with making this for them. And I hope they like it. I'm really happy with it. So I'm excited to get that finished. I could probably finish it this weekend, which is my goal. Um, and I was, have been using this uh, nine millimeter. Yes, crochet hook and cookies and cream. Um, so it's just hanging out. And then something else that I got, um, which does fit with my whips, cause there's a whip in here, um, is a cute little bag. Um, I got this bag from a shop on Etsy, which I will link below cause I can't remember their full name. It's thrills and something. Uh, I don't think they have a tag in here, so I can't, 
I can't tell you exactly what it is. Um, but anyway, I follow their shop on Etsy. They make these really cool bags. They're actually local. They're from Washington. Um, so I was really happy I found them, but it's a really nice bag. It has a little wristlet. Um, it's a really good size for some whips, really good for socks, I think. Um, and it's really good for the beginning of this blanket panel. So that is what is in here. Um, it's got some pockets on the side, which is really nice. And it has like a little, you can't see it all that well. It has like a little hook needle sleeve here, which is really nice. Um, I don't think, oh, I do have the needle in here or the hook that I'm working with. It's just in the project. Um, but this is my crochet along blanket panel that I started. Um, and I haven't gotten that far. I actually did a bunch of work on it and then realized I was doing the stitch wrong. I had to pull it all out. So we haven't gotten much further since last time I talked about it um, or I showed it, but we're working on it. It's here. It's fine. We have all year to make this. So it's just gonna hang out in this bag as I wanna work on it. And I've been using this 5.5 millimeter hook. Um, and then as just a cute thing that I bought recently, I got this little tape measure. This is my lantern moon little sheep. I love it so much. So he's in there. All right, beautiful. Those are my whips. Let's talk about this amazing box of goodies. Um, so Furls has a thing that's going on right now where if you spend over a certain amount, you get a gift. And then if you spend over another amount, you get another gift. And I spent over both amounts. So I got two gifts. So I'm excited to show you. The first gift is actually right on top. It is their uh, hook clutch. You unfortunately don't get to choose the color. So I got it, uh, they're giving it away in brown. So I have it in brown. I'm not a fan of brown, but that's okay. Um, I'm hoping that as it gets used and maybe dirtied up a little, it'll look better. <laughs> but anyway, this is a hook clutch, um, which is really cool. I have, I'm growing my hook collection, so I'm gonna need new ways to store them. Um, and so this will be a way to store them. Um, I actually just purchased a um, little glass coffin terrarium that I'm going to fill with yarn. And I think I'm gonna clean up this shelf and have it be my hook shelf. Um, and so I'm excited to put that together, which uh, I think it'll be here next week. So we'll do that next week. All right, let's see. What have we got? Oh, right, I also got a hook stand. <laughs> So I got the five hook wooden stand. It is very pretty. Mm. It smells great. It smells like wood. A uh, little burned in Pearl's logo. Um, and your hooks just rest on there, which I will show you what that looks like in a minute. Let's get some of these hooks out. Oh, so many. So many hooks. And then this was the other free gift um, that came along with my order. And it is the single hook carrier cover protector. Again, couldn't choose the color, so it's in brown, which again, not a fan of. Hoping that it will, uh, it will dirty up nice, um, but it is still a very nice free gift. So not complaining, just not my preference. Um, but it's gonna be nice to have a little safe way for my hooks to make it if I travel or really around the house more than anything. Okay, I think so that is everything out of the box. So let's go ahead and unbox these. Um, so these are the same boxes that I showed last time. And I got the Cruella hooks. So some wood in black and white. This is the 10 millimeter hook. Really nice, feels really nice. Very pretty. The striping is gonna be slightly different on all of them, which is fun. So let's, Ooh, this is the little guy. <laughs> so it comes with like a little protector on the end of these smaller ones, which is nice. This is the four millimeter. I went from the biggest one that I got to the smallest one that I got. Um, right. Our puppy is very interested. Here is our full 
all of our Cruellas. How pretty. They're really nice. Um, so I got a four, five, five point five, six, seven, nine, and ten. So the eight was sold out. So I didn't get the eight in this. Um, but I have everything else, which is really nice. So let's. Stand. How nice. Hello, welcome back. I had to run into town to pick up <clears throat> to pick up some medicine for my pup and so well for my older dog. And um so I decided to do a quick run through of the craft store, the local craft store. This craft store I think is a chain that's like local just to Washington um, so it's kind of fun uh, to be able to come here and kind of see what they have because it's not like going to Joanne's and Michael's it's a little different even though it looks kind of similar um but anyway I'm gonna take, a little, take you on a little peruse I also don't know why I'm filming at an angle okay I'm doing great today let's go on a peruse let's let's go <laughs> as you can tell. And uh, I actually was almost about to leave the store without getting anything. And then I remembered. <laughs> then I remembered that I just got an invitation to my sister-in-law's baby shower uh next month in like i think four weeks or something like that um and i wanted to make them a baby blanket um i've purchased some other gifts from their registry that are being shipped to their home but i also wanted to do a little baby blanket i thought it'd be cute so i did pick up a couple skeins for a baby blanket um so let's see so i got 
was having a really hard time deciding what colors I wanted to go with. I wanted to keep it pretty neutral um, and something that would be good for any baby um, with no theme. So I went with this. Now it is white. Um, and that is probably not the smartest idea for a baby considering things that happen with babies like you know blowouts they poo a lot uh they they regurgitate their food quite a bit so this might be a horrible idea <laughs> and i apologize now to my sister-in-law if i've just given you a blanket that's gonna stay and you're gonna have to toss it um because you can't clean it but i think it's really cute it's very soft um it is 100 polyester um but it's really kind of pretty it works up the lighting is gonna be terrible because the lighting in my office is ambient and not great for recording. Anyway, it's white and it works up with some little blue and gray flowers. So anyway, that's, uh, I got four skeins of that. Hopefully that'll work up into a decent sized baby blanket. Um, and then the other two of that. And then I did, I couldn't help myself. I picked up these two Premier Spun Color Gains, little cakes, um, and they are 65% acrylic, 35% fine superwash merino. And just, I just really liked the colors. They're super cool. I thought they would work up really nice. This has a lot of red in it, which I'm really excited about. This has a lot, these are a lot more muted tones. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them. I might do some parts of a cardigan with it and then finish it with just black um, or gray or something like that but I got one of each just to see how it worked up and see how I liked it but that was it just a couple things and um, I'm just still working on this giant blanket I have officially made a dent in cake jumbo cake number two so we're we're closing it we're probably gonna finish this blanket tomorrow actually which i'm really happy about and then we'll start on baby blanket and i'll show you updates um i have no plans for this weekend other than crafting and hanging out um my partner got me this awesome t-shirt that i love so much but uh that's it i'll see you later bye bye <laughs>